Now. Good morning, students, teachers, and associates. Buenos dias, estudiantes y maestras. Today is Tuesday, August 27th, 2019. Everyone, please stand up. Just to learn. These are the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Okay, Jessalyn, got any good things, Jessalyn? Um, there's a football game this Friday against Caprock. All right, at Caprock, what time? Oh, seven thirty. Seven or seven? I think it's seven o'clock, but we'll make sure. Let me look at my news. Y'all go ahead and clap. Okay. Clap. Okay. My good thing is that the weather is really cool today. Like, perfect. Ooh, two claps. <laughs> and my good thing is that we have a volleyball game today in Border. So. Oh, go herd. Yes. All right. <laughs> Trying to find it here. Where is that herd football? I'm sure it's probably <laughs> My good thing is, Mrs. Ogobode Day, she received the State Teacher of the Year Award for oh. Family and Consumer Sciences Education in the state of Texas. So, two claps for Mrs. O. Okay. Okay. So, today, the quote of the day is I have the simplest taste. I am always satisfied with the best by Oscar Wilde. And then, Crime of the week is vandalism in the boys' restroom on Friday, August 16th. And then there's a fire alarm pulled on the, no, the vandalism was the 23rd. And then the fire alarm was pulled on the 16th. And then any information remains anonymous. Snitches get riches. And then to call it, it's 344 Clue. Okay, so 344 Clue. Yes. Okay, yes. let us know who pulled that fire alarm so we can take care of that individual. Okay. There will be a student council meeting Wednesday, um, August 28th at 8.30 p.m. in the Ojum. That's right. 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. or p.m. This is p.m. A.m. Okay. A.m. In the Ojum. Also, we have extended the deadline for student council forms to September 6th. So there will still be time to uh, become a member of student council. Uh, freshmen, you may now pick up your class supper tickets to sell from Miss Barron in room 121. Uh, picture day is tomorrow, August 28th, during your English class. Uh, wear your best smile. Thank you, yeah. Jessica. And the game's at 730, 730 Friday. Okay. Both back panoramic pictures will be in the front <laughs> office, or in the front of the school, Tuesday, September 3rd, band at 830 a.m., class of 2020 seniors at 930 a.m., and JROTC at 10 a.m. Any new student or returning student interested in joining the Anchor Club and or Key Club, please come by room 229 and sign up. Both organizations are service organizations that help citizens in our community do either the Pilot Club or Kiwani's Club. Questions, see Ms. Sid in room 229. Good luck to the Lady White Faces volleyball team at Borger. Go Lady White Faces. What's for lunch? Dutch chicken pot pie and a whole grain biscuit or egg and cheese croissant and a pork sausage. Breakfast and lunch is free for all students every day. So view full menu, download the app, Nutrispice, or see it online at hhs.herfordisd.net and click lunch menu at the bottom of the page. Let's wish a happy birthday to Kimberly Sanchez, Mia Besseri, and James Lara. Is that it? All right, all right, here we go. We still got plenty of time. It rings at what, 11.58? Yes. Okay. Trivia Tuesday, teachers, so make sure, make sure you get ready. I hope everyone is listening to these announcements. Students, listen very carefully. Vapes are not allowed on campus. They're illegal, and guess what? We catch you with a vape, automatic, three days ISS, so make sure you leave those vapes at home. You shouldn't even have them in the first place, so loud and clear. Vapes, do not bring them here to Herford High School. Also, the academic incentive students, if you want to miss five days in December, five days in, in May, this is what you have to do. You have to earn it. No more than three absences, no disciplinary placement, no passing with a 70 or above, no cheating, 
and no fines. So academic incentive. So earn those days off. Also, a medical absence. Let me just read you the definition of medical absence. A medical absence does not count unless a student fails to attend part of the school day. So at least try to be here at least what a period if you can. Uh, minimum time should be spent at the health healthcare professional's office. Students may not miss all day and then go athletics and count the absence of the medical. So the best thing is students, if you go to the doctor, come back that same day or show up part of the day and go to your doctors and make sure tomorrow you bring what your notes so you can turn into a medical and do not count in absences. Okay, so we talked about crime stoppers, medical, academic incentive. Okay, and our attendance, come here, freshman, the freshman <laughs> class. So she's, and Mariah is representing the freshman class. The attendance yesterday was 98.1. So, woo! Yeah, yeah, freshman, yeah. Woo. Second place was the sophomores at 96.28, juniors at 94. 0.85 and seniors 94.75 so this is not good students freshman class that's amazing so every class should be nine come on higher. seniors so okay teachers how much time do i have you have four minutes okay here's the senior class officers president raj bakta vice president samara 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 and secretary nayeli Baron. Junior class officers Keegan Reese, Vice President Amaya Coronado, Cor Cor Coronado, and Secretary Savannah Chavita. Sophomore class officers, the president was Daphne McArdle, Vice President Noah Brown, Secretary Leslie Cabrera. Freshman class officers, President Jaden Fletcher, Vice President Emma Cooper, and Secretary Jolie Lucanville. Okay, here we go. Trivia Tuesday. Congratulations to the students. Here we go. Trivia Tuesday, number one through five teachers. I got about four minutes. Anything else? Babby, the weather's nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number one. It's true or false. All I can do is put a T or an F. A sheep, a duck, and a rooster were the first passengers on a hot air balloon. True or false? Question number two. A bed bug. I need to articulate. A bed bug can go two to three months without feeding. True or false? Question number three, bees, bzz, bees in France found to produce blue and green honey. Is this true? Question number four, some bats can eat 300 bugs in one night. Question number five, the most expensive cheese in the world is made from donkey milk. True or false? <laughs> Donkey. Okay, <laughs> it is 11.55. This concludes the announcement. Have a great... Wonderful. Come here. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and stupenda oh, and stupendous, stupendous day. day. <laughs> okay, now let me see if y'all know the answers. A sheep, 